What's up basketball fans? Welcome to Trash Talk. With the fresh off winning the 2017-2018 IBL Championship, Dior Lord from Saturday Night. That's, right. That's right, boy. I finally got on the show, man. <laughs> Welcome to the show, man. I <laughs> oh, appreciate you, man. Takes a while, but finally you're on the show. Finally, man. So tell me how you're feeling, man, after winning that championship. Man, dude, it's just feeling great, man. Like I said, I I talked to Main Basket, and the word I used for it, man, was I feel elated, man. I feel joyful. Uh, it hasn't even, I don't think it's set in for most of our players and most of our fans that we actually did it, being the underdog and being the 10th championship, but it happened, man. It's, it's not going to hit me till I get home, I think. Okay. So, you guys, a little bit struggling, though, going through the, through the finals against uh, Hang Tua. Uh, almost <laughs> lost in game one, <laughs> went to overtime, and I lost game two, and then you guys dominated in game three. What changed? in the finals for you guys? Man, let's talk about them games first. Hey, mm -hmm. honestly, I told Yobel and I told, the, I said, like, before we even played PJ, I said, honestly, we shouldn't be here. Okay. I said, bro, I, I said, game one, I said, hung to it, won that game. Like, they were winning the whole game. They were winning at the end. They had three chances to win. I think uh, the play, they had a, I think they had a free throw they missed or a layup. Which one missed, and then I got the block at the end. But they, they basically won that game. Oh! And in game two, um, they did win. Like, so, I mean, we literally could have been 0-2, man. Like, and 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 I and I took that as a, we took that as like a, a wake up call. A wake up call. We took that as a wake up call. And I'm, I'm I grilled the players, man. I was like, listen, guys, we shouldn't be here. Like, don't. Don't just underestimate teams. Like we're good, and we have the name of SM, but you have to still play the game. You know, just because you got a name doesn't mean you're just gonna win because your name. You gotta play the game. So, game one in the finals, you guys dominate uh, PJ. And then game two is just it's different. It's the same story, but for PJ. Exactly. And then third game, what was the message though before that game in the locker room? Before game three, man, it was just like, we were talking about so many personal things, man, that I, I'm just going to say, I'm like, we, we, we talked, we used so many examples of things. Um, our owner, our owner had, you know, our owner's a great owner. He, normally we meet with him once a month. He had been around like the last week. We had probably seen him 10 times. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so he was just giving us different messages about uh, just play the game, have fun, and uh, giving us examples of uh, teams in the NBA that went through similar things. And uh, we've been through this position last year where it was 1-1. Mm -hmm. They beat us in our house. Now let's beat them in their house. Uh, and then we just, and the players just, you know, went through examples of, you know, don't think about, in this game three, don't think about um, yourself. Think about the fans that travel to come here. Think about the fans that are going to be behind our bench. It's, they only sold 100 tickets to us. So, so, so we took all that as like motivation. We said, we, we use examples of people being sick around the world, like people that can't fight, like that are sick with disease. We said, we said listen, we can fight. Like this, let, let's not have any stone unturned. Let's not have any regrets. And we use all those little stories and messages and we got hyped, bro. We got hyped. But game two, you guys keep your composure though. I think like the last two minutes they catch up to like five points and then you guys close it out. Man. What were what were you guys saying though when they trying to catch up? Bro, I was I was like, yo, yeah. that time was yeah. in slow motion yeah. on the clock, dude. I honestly I, I'm not even gonna lie, had there been another three minutes or had there been an overtime, we would have been in trouble, I think. Because I was dead tired, yeah. I was cramping up and and Bradford was honestly single-handedly bringing him back in. I just started seeing him going. I could see that he was about to start going on his little run or whatever. So I was like, damn, this time got to run out. And then 
I, you know, hit that uh, big hit shot, that bank shot, hit that bank shot, <laughs> and then that kind of sealed it. Arky got free for a layup, and yeah, the bank shot kind of put the nail in the coffin, yeah. man. But Jama had it going though in yes. that game. Three, I think 21 points and final winning the Finals MVP. What was it like though to see him go off like that? Man, like I said, I, I told him, man, like, uh, like, like you said, everybody know he had a lot of doubters, a lot of people, and uh, I just told him like. Uh, I told him before the season, like, bro, I, I've seen what you can do. Like, I played with him in the Madan Cup. Okay, Madan Cup. So I, I seen some things that he could do, maybe that people didn't know he could do. And I was just like, bro, like, I've seen what you can do. Like, just, just do it. We had a lot of butting heads with the coach about, hey, give the import, give Jamar more responsibility, handling the ball and stuff like that, to give him more confidence, to grow him as a player. And it paid off. He was using the he was using he was having the ball in his hands a lot, pick and roll, pull up jumpers. And after the game, I told him I was just proud of him because I know he had you know he was the first import here. Yes. So being the first you know African American import, like that's tough, man. Like I said, bro, like I'm proud of you. Like uh, you're you're a trendsetter. You're you're the first one, and you persevered, and 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 yeah, you know. But do you feel like? You, you because you know he he got it going. You uh, like you letting him play exactly his game, bro. When he when he had it going, like either in the pick and roll, I was just like, bro. I told him in the game. I said, hey, I'm a, I'm not even gonna post it on your yeah. side. I'm gonna go away and have you get ISO one on one because you got a local on you. You can cook him. <laughs> or I said, hey, we can go pick and roll. I'm gonna set you a hard screen. Uh -huh. You gonna have your open jump shot. So I was just like, bro, you miss me, just gonna rebound for you. We gonna play defense. You being a team player, like at that time, to win the chip Champions. for sure. Yes. Because you know he, because when you when you know your teammate got it going. Yeah. Especially when we got like a 14 point lead yeah. and he got it going. Oh, you saw you, <laughs> homie. Yeah. Don't want to work. Go to work, right? <laughs> yeah, bro. And what about the little guy though? How's the honest? How big is he? Like, I think that he was guy. playing good the whole series. That guy, man. Dog. <laughs> That guy, man, like, but people don't know how much work he put in, bro. That He really works on his, bro, in the weight room, he just works on his body uh, in practice. He He's like, he's definitely like the chip on his shoulder type local. I, I tell our guys, I said, man, overall, we're a pretty, like, P PJ's more of a, like, physical, mean yeah, yeah, yeah. team. They, their coach is really fiery. Ito's really fiery. Our team's more, Yobel's more humble, nice. You know, so our team kind of takes that identity, the nice guy. But Hardy's the one, one of the one of the few locals that's that's actually the the Energizer Bunny. He wants to pick up full court, hits big shots, plays great ball ball defense, physical, doesn't back down from nobody. And like, he was huge, man. He like you said, all series, the assists. So this is the 10th championship for SM. Yeah. Can you talk about how special this team is? Man, hey, <laughs> special man. Like that PJ team is a machine. It's a machine. It's a, that is a machine, bro. It's facts. Like honestly, that team with Giles, Bradford, and that many bigs and shooters, if they were in another league, even in a, a, a middle European league, they would be a, they would be a middle pack team for sure. It's special because, like like I said, uh, if, if players decide to move on and and it really is the last hurrah for some players on our team or whatever, yeah, this this has got to be the tenth one. Look, we just passed Aspac for the most championships. Yes, like this is this is I mean, unreal, bro. Like I said, I don't think these guys realize. What we did, I mean, that's that's it beat them in their own house. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot going into that championship, man. For real. So for you, your Lohan, what would be next for you? Would you like to go back to the PBA or ABL or any top set with any team? Man, like honestly, like I just want to. I, I I put it on my Instagram. I just want to take take a lot, take a couple weeks off, just take some painkillers, <laughs> get get rested, man. Like I mean, obviously. You know, uh, the next IBO season probably start. Let's just say it starts in November, man. Mm -hmm. Like, so that's what seven, eight months, I don't know, six months. Six months. Uh, so you definitely need to keep in shape. Definitely need to keep playing. You know, I want to. You know, PBA two month, three month season. 
go from July to September maybe, July to October. If not, playing a couple of tournaments maybe in Indonesia. Um, and then, uh, man, I, obviously, number one thing on my agenda is to defend the trophy, bro. I got to defend my crown, so that's that's priority number one, man. So hopefully, hopefully we get that figured out before I get out of here, man. And 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 uh, but yeah, that, that's definitely priority number one, man. Because the, the chip is still gonna be on the shoulder, bro. Like I'm sure it's gonna be some people saying that we got lucky or it's a fluke. It's just ain't no fluke. This ain't no fluke, man. So we gonna we we trying to come back again. That would be dope, though, if you could come back next season and man. defend the title. Man. Because so, you know it's harder, right, to defend the title. It, it is harder. It's, 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 what do they say? It's, it's easy to get there, but it's harder to stay on top. Everybody gunning for you. That's true. So, I'm, I want to, oh, we want, hey, yeah. like, like, who, who said that? Uh, John Wall and Drake in the Twitter uh, uh, rap page, we want all the smoke. Oops, yeah. <laughs> we want all the smoke. Yeah. <laughs> We want all the smoke. <laughs> oh my god, are you fucking trash like John Wall and Drake now? Isn't this trash talk? Man? It is trash talk. You can, do you can talk anything about on this. All the smoke, man. You want all the smoke? <laughs> my channel want all the smoke too. <laughs> exactly, baby. Let's do it. Let's, let's, do let's it. burn it up. <laughs> <laughs> You're crazy, but, but um, good luck, man. Hopefully, uh, everything will, you will figure that out uh, soon, but enjoy. Thank you, man. Winning this title. You, see, you, see the family out? Like, you miss your son bro. I do, bro. A lot, man. I do, man. He's he's the cutest thing in the world to me, man. Like, <laughs> I know everybody thinks their kid's the cutest, but he really is to me. So, I can't wait to get back to my son and my wife and Cali, baby. Cali vibes. West Coast. <laughs> but, right, but uh, thanks, though. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate you, man. Hey, I got this jersey for Hey, man, like I said, y'all didn't know, but in all his videos, man, he, he had us as the underdog, man, but you, like I told him, man, I said, you know what? Without you, bro, we this wouldn't be possible, man. So, uh, you, you got a suicide for us, man? You got a suicide for us? Is, 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 is the gym open? Like, no, no. <laughs> if, if the gym open, I'll do some suicide for you hey, guys. You got, <laughs> hey, shout out to, to Bradford and Giles, man, and uh, that whole team, dog. Y'all, like I said, three more minutes, man. Yeah. And you had, yeah, boy, nervous, man. Yeah. Respect. Make sure y'all comment below. Yeah. Remember that. No, we got about that, but hey, safe flight, though. Thank you, bro. Appreciate you. Safe traveling back to the States. Thank you, bro. Hopefully, I'll see you stateside maybe in the summer. Oh, yeah, let's get it. Or maybe in the PBA. Okay. Or ABL. Let's do it. And then after that, we go back. you go back to IBL. Okay. That's the plan, right? That's the plan. Right? That's the master plan. That's the master plan, the master plan right? For sure. So, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you to Dior. Shout out to SM. Yes, sir. And we'll see you next video. Peace. Later. Monster out.